Hey guys, this is Star Tolyong, and in this video, you will see 10 common spells or spell combos that are usually not used to their fullest potential. You do not need an Eel Scepter to get off the Void Spirit combo. You can make use of the extra step slow to land the Aether Remnant. This has become more commonly used recently but can you tell the difference between this and this. After cutting through the enemy, it is still possible to dodge the remnant if the target has enough movement speed. Placing the remnant close to the astral land point is important to reduce the remnant travel time and get off instant initiation. Even when you're chasing a target outside Astro Step range, you want to place the Remnant exactly at the land point so that the Remnant gets activated instantly. Tasca's Eye Shard can be used to consistently displace himself. Place the shard on top of the hero hitbox. The double arrow has to be pointing towards you and has to be far apart so that the shard appears behind you. If the double arrow is stacking on top of one another, this will not work. Of course, it is always easier to execute it when you're stationary compared to when you're moving, so here's some details I always use. When I'm walking towards a direction and I intend to displace myself, click forward. Place your cursor at where you want to displace yourself, and once the cursor is approaching the center of your hero, click it. Swashbuckle has 4 strikes of attack. However, when you swashbuckle through a target, you will hit 5 instead of 4. But sometimes, even the slightest direction error will cause you to miss the 5th hit. To get it off consistently and easily every time, make sure the start or end point is as close to the target as possible. This will ensure that you pass through your target every single time giving you more room for error. It is common to see use being used against Puck to get out of Koi. If you hover your mouse over the use, you can use the cast range as a guide to estimate the Koi radius and get out consistently. However, not every hero wants to have use as part of their item build. Puck generally buys Agonims against Lifestealer and Jug due to their magic immunity. Instead of spinning, use Omni Slash or Swift Slash to get you out of Koi. Instead of using Rage, having someone to infest into can get you out of Koi as well. Getting Koi as a brew is pretty much useless because Panda's Bleed gets you out. For Haska, you can Life Break out of Koi because you are immune to spell during Life Break, but Aghanim Koi's will still stun you. You can use Earth Spirit's Aghanim's ability and Chan Remnant on the egg to prevent it from getting hit. When you use the Remnant early, the Phoenix Egg will not pop. There will be no stun, Phoenix Health will not be full, but his abilities will be refreshed. If you Remnant on the second half of the duration of the egg, the Phoenix Egg will be completely protected, the stun will pop, abilities will be refreshed and Phoenix will come out full health.
but if you're desperate to save the egg, casting it early might not be that bad as well. Waveform is commonly used by Morphling to flash farm the map. Since Waveform does cost a lot of mana, it is important to get as much value out of it as possible. Instead of swimming towards creeps, using it on two camps, using it to farm while crossing hills, or using it to clear both lane creeps and neutral creeps together can speed up your farm a lot. Shackling two players in one team fight is one of the most game changing plays you can make as a wind ranger. It is definitely not as easy as it looks, but here is a trick to get it off consistently. When you are trying to shackle two targets from a distance away, you can see that it is pretty easy to dodge a two man shackle. But when you attempt the two man shackle closer to your first target, it is way easier to aim and land the two man shackle. If you are closer to your first target, you will usually use Windrun to apply a slow on your first target and you only need to run a small distance to find the angle for the two-man shackle while the second target has to run a further distance to dodge the two-man shackle. Physics. Ever wondered why some players hold their reincarnation skill point at level 6? I assure you that the reason that they are doing this is not because they are noobs. When you first hit level 6 on Wraith King, most of the time, your opponents are going to assume that you have reincarnation. So when they come rotating to gank you, they are going to try to either burn your ultimate or plan to kill you twice. The reason why you want to always hold a skill point is to choose when to die. When your opponents come diving you and you know for sure that there is no one that can help you, it is better to die then to let your reincarnation go on cooldown because you can use it aggressively with your teammates later on and dying two times doesn't really help you achieve anything in cases where you know that your teammates can arrive in time you can then skill the reincarnation point and complete the bait Have you ever missed Grimstroke's first spell in point blank range? From afar, it looks like Grimstroke shoots the ink straight, but Grimstroke does use his left arm to paint. Every target you hit with the Stroke of Fate is important to get off maximum damage. Targets in front of you are basically free damage upgrade when you lean towards the paintbrush. It is also very useful for flash farming. Instead of using Cold Feet to combo with the Chilling Touch during the laning phase, Cold Feet can be used to secure multiple CS in lane. Wait for the creeps to get low, then as the target walks up for the CS, place a Cold Feet on them. It is either your target freeze and get all the creeps denied, or they back off and get their creeps denied. Thank you for staying to the end of the video, a huge shout out and a big thank you to all members that have been supporting this channel. If you'd like to engage the community, you can join my discord. If you want my stream updates, you can follow my instagram. If you enjoy my Dota 2 content, hit the like, share, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, share, share, subscribe, like, or subscribe, like, share, and I'll see you in the next video.